Hi guys, welcome back. So I haven't updated you for a while on where we're at with the house. I think the last time I spoke to you was when we were waiting for the life insurance quote maybe, I think. Also, excuse the mess behind me, I'll explain. So today is the 24th of August, I was about to say July, August. And we have exchanged contracts today. We paid the deposit last Thursday or Friday, I think it was and it's now Wednesday so we have exchanged this morning and we are getting the keys on Friday so on the 26th of August we're getting the keys so I've got officially maybe two days left at home before we get the house the solicitor told me she will call me on Friday when the keys are ready to be collected that is currently why my bedroom looks like a bomb has hit it because packing has officially commenced I'll show you the spare room downstairs, it's an absolute tip, but it's an organised mess. I know where everything is, it's just full of boxes, um, much to my mum's delight. So Friday we're not going to spend the night at the house, we are going to go, when we get the call, we're going to go over, clean, tidy, hoover, all that jazz, just get the house ready to be moved into and then on Saturday we're going to start decorating. We are going to take some stuff over to the house Friday, so my nan's going to take a load in her car. My mum's going to take a load, I'm going to take a load. And then Saturday we've got our neighbour's van, um, he's letting us borrow it, so we're going to move everything else over, like the big stuff, so like my bed and my mattress. Harry's end, he's going to bring the stuff Friday that we'll need to clean with and just whatever he can kind of fit in his car really. And then Saturday, his dad's got a trailer, so he's going to put everything into the trailer and bring it over to the house. And Saturday is basically going to be painting, decorating, unpacking. Friday, we're going to try and get the kitchen boxes unpacked after we've cleaned, just so that that's kind of ready. So the first night we spend in the house will be Saturday night, so I am terrified, I'm not going to lie. I'm very scared, it's very real now. I didn't think I'd be this nervous, but for the past week, my stomach has been in bits because I've been anxious. It's been, I, I don't know, I never thought I'd be this nervous. I knew I'd be nervous, but to the point that it's actually affecting me physically. Um, I am slightly terrified, but I am really excited. Obviously it's scary. I'm gonna be moving out of my home with my mum. So I today need to pack. I need to do all my washing hence why there's a pile of washing down here i need to put it in after the other load is done so i've got today and tomorrow to get packing done why is the hawk shouting I don't know. and then friday morning we're going to load up my nan and granddad's car my car and harry's car go get the keys and then go over to the house what is the bird shouting at so yeah that's currently where we're at so we've got just under two days to get everything packed and yeah, so I'm just going to get on with it. I'm going to show you, oh, there's a bird above him. I'll go and show you the state of the spare room currently and my room because I've got a lot to do and not a lot of time left to do it. Also, please excuse my face. My skin has gone really bad. I think it might be stress. Well, I'm assuming it is stress. Um... I've just had breakout after breakout the past like two weeks, so that's fun. I didn't want to come on with no makeup because then I'll look like a foot, but still kind of do, so just ignore that. My face reflects the rest of my life right now, which is just chaos. Okay, so this is where I'm currently at. Oh man, I am absolutely boiling. Um. I've emptied all of my makeup drawers, um, I've emptied my desk drawer out, I've got a lot more to do, I need to empty out the whole of my wardrobe, well I've done most of my wardrobe but like my Fairfax boxes and just some of the remaining clothes, um, I need to get some outfits ready for the weekend to wear so I know what I can pack away and not need to use until we're in the house. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very stressed but there we are so yeah i need to finish packing up just all like the little bits that are here there and everywhere um all under my bed i need to pull everything out under my bed and pack that away then i need to take everything downstairs and put it all into the spare room so it's not on the landing in the way where it currently is kota is 
well, leaving me apparently. Uh, so yeah, this is the current state of my room. I will show you stuff everywhere, suitcase I'm going to just have for the first night in case we don't find stuff. Need to take a picture of these lights and sell them. Cheese plant is a whole nother problem that we need to deal with. Gonna be crazy, but yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, so I realised yesterday I forgot to show you the spare room and the current state of it. Um, so I thought I'd quickly jump back on. It's now Thursday, so we get the keys tomorrow for the house. Um, I've been out this morning just getting the last couple of bits that we kind of forgot to get for the house. Um, I'll show you what I picked up. So I just picked up some of these fridge organisers from Matalan. <laughs> hey baby girl. I'm gonna miss her. Um, so I just picked up two of these. They look just those ones. And then I picked up an egg one because our fridge is being delivered on Saturday. And I picked up two toilet brushes, very boring, some bin bags. And then I also popped into Wilco and got some washing up gloves, two bags of cat food, some polish, um, and a cat litter tray. <laughs> I mean, rabbit even. And then in here, this is the current state of our spare room downstairs. <laughs> Literally rammed to the top with boxes. Um, Oh my god, don't even like, it's crazy. So I need to finish packing today. I don't really have that much more that I need to do. Um, it's kind of just like clothes and the random last little bits that just need to go in boxes and bags. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to try and get some organisation sorted in that room because tomorrow morning or tonight my nan's going to come and put a load into her car. And then we're going to put a load in Harry's car, a load in my mum's car in the morning, go get the keys and then go take the boxes to the house and start moving in. Um, so the plan for tomorrow is to go over to the house and clean it and get the wallpaper off the walls. And then Saturday will be unloading boxes, unpacking boxes, um, and decorating. So, this is the current state of my room. It looks really messy, I will say that. It looks an absolute state, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> it's just everything in my room has just been put here. This is literally it now. So it is literally just the last few bits. Um, so I'm going to get on and do that now. And then I'll be done. So I'm just gonna go through my wardrobe and just take out the clothes that I'm not gonna wear over the next few days. I actually think I might have a bin bag downstairs I can use. Oh well. I don't even know what I'm going to wear over the next few days. I just haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Okay, so I'm now a hot mess. Um, it doesn't really look like I've got anywhere, but I have. I've completely emptied out my wardrobes into bin bags. I can't even get in there. Um, so this is all empty now. I've just got to put these boxes in the car Saturday. And then the same with this wardrobe here. It's all empty clothes wise. It's just things at the bottom of the wardrobe that need to go into the car on Saturday. These we need to take tomorrow. Things on there are stuff I'm still using. They're empty, that's empty. They're empty, everything under my bed has been pulled out. Um, Saturday I'll take the plants off the shelves and I'll see my cheese plant and take that to the house and I'm gonna take this down now and just put that downstairs. Out here, it's looking a little bit messy and also in there, but one more day and then it'll all be gone. So, oh God, my top's very see-through. Um, I am gonna take my makeup off because I'm sweating and have to sit down for five minutes, I think, because I'm bloody knackered.